It has been more than four decades of travel across the vast emptiness of space, but now Voyager 2 has finally left the solar system behind. This spacecraft, one of humanity's boldest achievements, continues to astonish the scientific community with discoveries no one could have anticipated. Launched in 1977 to study the giant planets, it has far outlived its mission carrying its instruments into regions of space where sunlight is weak and the stars shine brighter than the distant sun itself. And there, in the dark frontier, Voyager 2 encountered something extraordinary, a phenomenon that seems to bend the rules of physics and challenges everything we thought we knew about the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy beyond. What it found was not the silent emptiness scientists had predicted. Instead, Voyager 2 discovered a region alive with energy and structure. Beyond the heliopause, the invisible frontier where the sun's solar wind loses its power and the interstellar medium begins, the spacecraft crossed into interstellar space in 2018. It became only the second human-made object to achieve this feat, following its twin, Voyager 1. But while Voyager 1 experienced a relatively smooth passage, Voyager 2's crossing revealed a far more complex and turbulent edge. Despite its age, Voyager 2's instruments are still functioning, sending back data about plasma, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays from nearly 20 billion kilometers away. That data told an astonishing story. The spacecraft's plasma science instrument recorded something unexpected, a sudden, dramatic spike in pressure. The solar wind, rather than thinning smoothly into the galactic medium, appeared to be compressed and forced back, as though an invisible shield was holding it in place. Scientists began calling this mysterious feature a pressure wall. It was not a fleeting disturbance but a persistent structure, strong and dynamic, unlike anything predicted. This strange barrier was not solid, and it was not a simple magnetic field. Instead, it seemed to be a hybrid of forces, swirling plasma, magnetic turbulence, and high-energy particles bound together into something semi-coherent. To Voyager 2, it appeared gradually, revealed by shifting particle flows, magnetic twists, and unexpected changes in cosmic ray intensity. This was no smooth gradient, but a chaotic and powerful interface, a true frontier where the sun meets the galaxy. For decades, scientists assumed that once beyond the heliopause, the interstellar medium would be relatively calm and uniform. Voyager 2 shattered that expectation. Its data suggests that the heliopause is not a clean dividing line but a fluctuating, reactive skin. The cosmic ray readings were particularly puzzling. Instead of increasing steadily as expected, Voyager 2 detected an abrupt dip. This means the pressure wall is not only real but capable of deflecting or absorbing radiation from the wider galaxy, shielding the inner solar system from dangerous cosmic rays. This discovery carries enormous implications. The boundary between the Sun and the galaxy is not just a transition zone but a protective layer. Earth and the other planets may owe part of their safety to this unseen cosmic shield. Without it, the radiation environment of our solar system would be vastly harsher. In other words, this strange wall may play a direct role in protecting life itself. Even more intriguing is the difference between Voyager 1 and Voyager 2's experiences. Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space abruptly, as if stepping through a doorway. Voyager 2, however, experienced a drawn-out, turbulent transition marked by the pressure wall. This proves that the heliopause is not a simple spherical bubble but an irregular frontier, warped and sculpted by galactic forces. Just as Earth's magnetosphere is constantly reshaped by solar winds, the heliosphere, the Sun's protective bubble, is influenced by interstellar pressure, magnetic fields, and perhaps even shockwaves from ancient supernovae. The impossibility of Voyager 2's encounter lies in the contradiction it revealed. Interstellar space, once imagined as a quiet void, is alive with turbulence, energy, and shifting boundaries. 
The pressure wall could be a standing shock, a dynamic sheath, or something entirely new. Whatever it is, it has no clear parallel on Earth. It challenges not only models of heliophysics but also our understanding of how stars interact with the galaxy. And the ramifications extend far beyond the Sun. If every star generates such boundaries, and if those boundaries vary in strength and structure, they could determine how well solar systems are shielded from radiation, and whether planets inside them can sustain life. Voyager 2's impossible encounter offers a rare bridge between theory and observation. It forces scientists to revise their models of galactic weather, particle flows, and even the architecture of the Milky Way. Some theories suggest the heliopause may act like a flexible membrane, rippling and reshaping itself under pressure. Voyager 2's data hints at regions of tangled magnetic fields, particle entrapment, and bursts of unexpected energy. This explains not only the strange pressure spikes but also irregular bursts of radio waves detected as the spacecraft approached interstellar space. For engineers and future spacefarers, this discovery also carries practical weight. Any spacecraft designed to journey beyond the solar system will need to face this turbulent frontier. Communications, shielding, and navigation systems must account for unpredictable plasma flows and magnetic disturbances. Voyager 2, built in the 1970s and not designed for this environment, has survived remarkably well, proving that interstellar travel, though daunting, is possible. Yet, with every revelation, the mystery deepens. Is this pressure wall permanent or temporary? Is it shaped by our sun's passage through interstellar clouds, or by vast magnetic interactions we have only begun to imagine? Could it be evidence of supernova remnants sweeping through the galaxy, or hints of structures far larger than our solar system itself? With only two probes venturing in different directions, we have just fragments of a larger puzzle. What Voyager 2 has done is transform the edge of the solar system from a theoretical boundary into a living, breathing laboratory. The pressure wall is a reminder that the galaxy is not static but full of unseen storms and hidden architecture. It shows us that the sun's domain does not end cleanly but dissolves into a chaotic frontier where galactic and stellar forces wrestle for dominance. That this discovery came so late in Voyager 2's life makes it all the more remarkable. After more than 40 years, with its power slowly fading, the spacecraft continues to rewrite our understanding of the cosmos. It is as if an explorer, expecting an empty plain beyond the last mountain, stumbled instead upon a storm-tossed ocean. This encounter reshapes the very concept of interstellar space. It is no longer just the void beyond the planets, but a layered, dynamic transition zone. A place where the sun still leaves echoes, and where the galaxy pushes back. Voyager 2 has peeled back one of those layers, revealing a boundary that behaves less like an inert shell and more like something alive. The implications ripple across astrophysics, planetary defense, and the dream of interstellar travel. If every star is wrapped in such a boundary, then each solar system is its own cocoon, protected or exposed depending on the strength of its shield. Such differences may determine whether planets hold atmospheres, whether radiation overwhelms potential life, or whether stability endures long enough for civilizations to rise. Voyager 2's impossible encounter is not just another scientific milestone. It is a humbling reminder of how little we truly know. For all our instruments, for all our theories, the universe still surprises us. The pressure wall at the edge of the solar system is proof of that, a phenomenon no one predicted, discovered by a machine that should have gone silent decades ago. As it drifts further into the dark, Voyager 2 continues to press into the skin of the galaxy, showing us that the cosmos is not empty, but alive with currents, storms, and structures we cannot yet fully grasp. The story it tells is one of wonder, mystery, and possibility. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Space Loop. And tell us in the comments, what do you think Voyager 2 really found out there?
Could the pressure wall be just the first hint of something even larger, waiting in the deep reaches of interstellar space? We'd love to hear your thoughts.